Welcome to Malita's Delicacies. Friends, today I have yet another interesting Goan recipe for you and it is the pumpkin and prawns kaldin. Before we begin the with the recipe, friends, if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel yet yet, please do subscribe to my channel now. And if you like my video, please do like and share with your family and friends as well. So let's begin with the recipe here. I had a lovely pumpkin creeper growing over here on my compound and it just gave me one nice pumpkin and so today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to make delicious pumpkin and prawns kaldin popularly called the Goan Verdur. So here is that one single pumpkin that I got. I'm just going to cut it into pieces and one of this piece I'm going to use to make this kaldin. The remaining I'm going to use to make other dishes of pumpkin, especially the pumpkin pudding. Please, if you have not seen my recipe, please do watch the pumpkin pudding recipe and it comes so delicious with this ripe pumpkin. And friends, for this verdur or the, or the pumpkin kaldin recipe, if you use a nice matured ripe pumpkin, it tastes so delicious, you will not be able to resist. So here I have cut the biggest slice of it, cut into pieces and peel the skin. You, see, you will see that the skin is quite really hard to peel. Cut into your desired pieces and season with some sea salt and leave it aside for about half an hour. This will enhance the flavor of your kaldin. Until then, let's prep the other ingredients. Here I have taken one cup of freshly grated coconut, one and a half tablespoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, about four spicy green chilies, half teaspoon of cumin seeds, about three cloves, five peppercorns and a small piece of cinnamon stick, one inch of ginger and about eight cloves of garlic. As a sardine agent here I've used one dry mango piece. An important ingredient I'm using here is half teaspoon of ajwine or carom seeds. Add one cup of water and grind this coarsely and extract juice of it. Once that is done, add another cup of water, grind it again and extract the juice the second time. Now in your wok add about two tablespoon of oil and once it heats up well, add two spicy green chilies. Let's just leave them in the middle. This will give a very special flavor to your kaldi. Now to that, I'm adding here one large onion roughly chopped and saute it till it is nice and translucent. I've ensured that, you know, I've uh, fried the onion on a, a low flame. That I have added here one large tomato finely chopped and I'll cook it till it is nice and mushy. Now I'm here adding here half cup of fine white prawns. These prawns have a very unique flavor and they make your dish even the curry very very delicious. So add them and saute till the color of the prawns changes. This is very important to be done on low flame. It takes time but it's worth. Adding prawns is totally optional. You can make the kaldin without the prawns as well. To this add the seasoned pumpkin pieces and mix them well. Now I'm not going to add any extra water but I'm going to add to this the second extract of the coconut and spices milk and cook it for about you know on medium flame for five minutes till the uh, liquid reduces to half once that is done then i'm going to add the first the thick extract or the first extract and cook till my pumpkin pieces are well cooked again on medium flame 
and also ensure that you do not close the lid of your wok till the verdur or till the kaldin is perfectly cooked otherwise it are chances of your coconut milk splitting once it is done just add roughly chopped coriander leaves about a handful give it a mix and just give it bring it to one boil then turn off the flame and let it rest for about 5 minutes and here a delicious pumpkin kaldin is ready to be served to try this recipe at your home and enjoy these friends especially these days now this recipe can be made either as a vegetarian version without the prawns or you add the prawns and make it extra flavorful extra delicious either way it tastes so delicious friends so do try this recipe and enjoy it goes to well with rice and also it tastes very delicious for with govan pori or the pav also it tastes very nice with sannas i hope you have enjoyed watching this recipe thank you for watching this recipe see you again next week with yet another interesting and exciting recipe until then keep watching melita's delicacies god bless you